Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I am pleased to speak to you today from Sacred Heart Cathedral on the Yukon White Horse and send my greetings to all of you as the world faces the coronavirus situation. First of all, I would like to thank public health and government authorities in Yukon and British Columbia for their ongoing work and decision making in helping to prevent, prevent the transmission of this virus in our communities. We are also grateful for frontline medical staff, for their care for those who have become ill during this time. And finally, many thanks to the priests and ministers and volunteers in our diocese who provide ministry, prayer, and other support to the community during these difficult times of confusion and fear. As the situation changes day by day, I invite you all in the spirit of communion and solidarity to reach out to anyone around you who may be in need of help and comfort. This could be done through a phone call or running errands for someone who is alone at home and has no family in the community. Consider calling your local parish or volunteer organizations to see how you can help. Another way is to unite with our Christian brothers and sisters in prayer. In our diocese, we'll be, we will be implementing two special days of prayer, fasting and abstinence during the week on Wednesdays and Fridays. At 3 p.m., the Divine Mercy Hour, you are all invited to pray the Holy Rosary and the Divine Mercy Chaplet from your home. As for fasting, do so according to your capacity. For example, you may decide to skip a meal on those days. It is no exaggeration to say that this global health situation is affecting almost everyone on an individual level, if not medically, then certainly economically, mentally and emotionally. This is an opportunity to pray for end to the epidemic and to be in solidarity with others, particularly countries most affected, such as mainline China, Italy, Spain, South Korea, and Iran, among hundreds of others worldwide. I also like to assure you not to worry during these difficult times. It is a time of solidarity, of being closer to each other, of asking for forgiveness to each other. And never to doubt that God is close, close, especially in these difficult times. Because he loves each and every one of us. Finally, I would like to say a word about attendance, attendance at Holy Mass. We continue to keep informed by local authorities and are following and adapting to requirements as necessary. Therefore, with this in mind, churches in our diocese will be open for personal prayer and adoration. Also, weekday and Sunday Masses will be offered with adjustments being made to the schedule and locations when needed. Because the situation can change quickly, please keep in contact with your local church about Masses. For those of you who are not able to attend Mass due to health reasons, risk level, or self-isolation requirements, the obligation of attending Mass is lifted. Instead, please join us and the rest of the congregation for a live streaming or recording of an anticipatory Mass on Saturdays at 5 p.m 
from the cathedral. The link will be posted in our website. Alternatively, I invite you to participate by watching televised Mass, reflecting on the Sunday readings, and praying the spiritual communion prayer. Note that the diocesan website is being updated regularly. And all this information, including links to the prayers and other sites, is being posted. And please don't hesitate to call your pastor or our office if you have any questions. In closing, I would like to send my best wishes and blessings to all of you here in the Yukon and in BC. May God bless you and all your family members and keep you safe. God bless you all.